Don't tell who you are. Water life crisis with the mother. French manicure. Okay, I'm actually rushing to go out right now. I've got this like very Elvis cowboy jacket on but my stuff has just come that i've ordered to get ready for work get a little bit fresh get out me sweats from work from home so i thought i'd do a quick unboxing i actually ripped a couple of them open i'm not gonna lie so basically i want to be a health queen so i got a lunchbox so i can meal prep my meals but it's a bento box you know the one with all like the little sections so you can put your little sauce or yogi in there and then like whatever in the other section so i got that so i can you know take care of my gut health and stuff like that instead of eating Starbucks every day. Then I got some things from Zara. So I got this little jumper. Don't know how I feel about it. It's Ooh, and it looks really bad on camera as well. Um, yeah, don't know how I feel about it. It's weird material and I am a big hater of like little plasticky, metally detailing. I don't know why, I just really hate it. But unless it's like a zip, which is fine. But yeah. So, don't know if I'm a fan of that, but could be cozy in the office if they have like air conditioning on and stuff like that. Now, this I haven't seen yet. <laughs> okay, it's a little, I don't know if actually you can see that properly, but it's like one of the little sweater, knit sweater vests, and it actually looks like a really good size. I feel like the little t shirt, like this under it or something, could be really cute. So, got that. Feels like nice quality as well, actually. Then I got a little white t-shirt, hoping and praying it's not just see-through when I wear it. Let me check. Mm, that's gonna be a bit see-through, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Zara. Maybe I'll just put like a white vest up underneath it and then tuck that into a pair of suit trousers. Dunzo. Then I got more from Zara. By the way, I had no work clothes. I feel a bit bad doing this. And also I feel bad that I'm buying from fast fashion shops and stuff like that, but I need to educate myself on this because I don't know enough about it, slash I don't want to just go into random shops that are like sustainable, but they're not sustainable. So I know this is naughty, but it's my last time. And then I need to learn how to shop in secondhand shops and charity shops also. But anytime I go in, it's like I have blinkers on. Like everything looks like your grandma's dress from the 50s. Not that's a bad thing. Some people can work that, but I can't. And then other people go in, they find absolute catwalk gem. Anyways, got another little black t-shirt like the white one, easy to tuck into suit trousers again. And I got some slacks. These are like the high, what are they? The high-waisted somethings, um, and they're literally just plain black slacks. And finally, got something from June. So I needed office shoes, because all of my shoes are like trainers that have been beaten up and worn for ages, or heels, boots, slash Doc Martens that tear my ankles apart. My ankles are suffering at the minute. I went out with my Doc Martens for a long time and it's pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. So, I haven't looked at the shoes yet. I was really excited to get these because I really like clumpy shoes. I was like, oh, clumpy shoes are okay for the office. But I was like, you know what, you know what, Zika, don't dull who you are just because you're going to the office. Oh, they're not that clumpy. Here is the shoe. They do look like a librarian mixed with a schoolboy's shoe and does the gold bit look slightly tacky i don't know can you see that properly wait then let me lighten well that's quite bright now isn't it um yeah so this is a shoe i got it in size five it's potentially gonna be too big let's try it on this is it you know what? I think that's going to fit well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a little like lookbook with all of these and other stuff I've purchased for the start of work. Oh, I've got toe cramp. Um, so yeah, a couple of outfit ideas that I've smashed together. Okay, so that is everything for now. I've also got a food order that I need to do so that I can actually put healthy foods in a little bento box to bring to work to be healthy. Um, and that's it. Okay. Excuse my hair, it's a little bit crazy, a little bit Lizzie McGuire today. But today is all about continuing the getting ready process for going back to work. So I'm trying to improve my gut health when I go back to work. And I bought myself some gut health things. So I thought, you know what, finally, Danica, you are 24, nearing on your course of life crisis. It's time to start spending money on sensible things. So let's see what I got. I actually don't remember. Um, okay. Right, this is probably not a good way to do this, but also not towards you. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna chop my finger off. 
Um, so I got this stuff from Planet Organic. I've always wanted to get stuff from here. Like literally, I remember looking at their website when I was like 18, maybe 16 or 17, thinking, oh my God, I want to start shopping here. But I was like living at home, so that wasn't really an option. Oh, so excited. Sorry if this angle's awful, by the way. Um, okay, here we go. Berries and cream. So I got some superfood creamer with nothing to put it in. I don't actually drink coffee, but I want to become a matcha, a matcha drinker. So I thought this would be tasty to put in with it. It is vegan, dairy-free, stuff like that. And it's got MCTs in it, which I think are good for your brain. Basically says, harness the powers of coconut and aquamin, whatever that is, to help you power through your day. And then you just add one tablespoon to tea or coffee. So I feel like this is basically, you know when people make bulletproof coffees, I think there's this surfing, three surfer bros on YouTube that use this basically. <laughs> they look like they have good gut health, so here we are. Then I got some protein powder because I feel like it's good to get lots of protein in your <laughs> diet. So I got this one from Form. I've never tried it before, but it's vanilla. Um, and this is loads of good shit as well. So there's, um, there is organic key, brown rice, and pumpkin seeds, maca, flaxseed, greens, fruit powders, fiber, and digestive enzymes. I don't know if they're in that or, or it, mm, I don't know. Um, yeah, and just protein powder. So I think you just add one, oh no, you add two scoops into either water or your preferred non-dairy milk, because this is also a vegan protein powder. Um, and yeah, I'll let you know what I think if that's helpful because I find that some protein powders like taste like chalk Whereas this I'm hoping is just gonna taste yummy What else did we get? Oh, ooh, there's ice packs in here What the sh- What did I purchase? Oh, this is so exciting. I feel like it's Christmas <laughs> What are we gonna get? Also, I love this honeycomb paper. Oh, I'm a little bit trypophobic, so it kind of creeps me out. But I think, because it's not direct, no, no, that's a bit creepy. Oh, I got magnesium, calcium, and zinc for my daily well-being. And I think um, it's good for like hair, nails, and stuff like that. Magnesium, I think, is good for stress, maybe? I'm probably talking out of my ass. Okay, so I got that as well. Gonna repurpose this paper for like a birthday or something. You sit on a throne of lies. I really don't remember what I purchased. Sorry about all this rickly rattling. Oh, stop it. Yes, I do remember. Okay, so I remember there was a period where I was watching loads of health gurus um, videos and stuff, and they were all from the US, and they all had this Bragg organic apple cider vinegar, and it looked cool, and I wanted to get an apple cider vinegar, but I was like, oh, of course, I can only trust what they have, which is obviously not true, but anyways. Yeah, so now I have it. Oh, and then smash the bottle but yeah so i think apple cider vinegar you can chuck it in salad you do a little shot of it in the morning it's good for digestion um delicious refreshing ideal drink at home what what perfect taking three times a day mm, i don't really feel like it's a drink you know and it's got with the mother so apparently if you get apple cider vinegar you want to get it with the mother now i don't know who the, f the mother is but what's that tv show how i met your mother doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, I've got that as well. And last but not least, I think I got, I actually do remember what these things were. Okay, so it comes with a little ice pack to keep your cold things cold. I'll chuck that over there. Uh, um, I bought some things with prebiotics in, because I, I take a probiotic. Um, and I thought, you know what, I need to start in taking some prebiotics. So I got some kimchi, the vegan classic from the Cultured Collective. Mm, yum. Basically, I heard this one, if you prefer a less spicy kimchi, this is a good one. Um, I really like spicy food, but I don't know, just not for my kimchi. Oh, don't fear the fizz. Bubbles are a natural byproduct of fermentation. So, keep me cold and burp me regularly. So you have to open it and like, let the bubble come out. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Right. Well, I didn't hear a burp. How confusing. Oh. <coughs> That's pungent. Woo! Woo! Live gut loving accompaniments for salads, sandwiches, and wraps. Don't mind if I do. And la. Oh my god, I've got two things. What are all these things? I. <laughs> Actually, 
you drive by two of the same thing. Okay, so I really love sauerkraut and I know that's got a lot of prebiotics in it as well. So I got this sauerkraut from Morgul, Morgul, Morgul Foods. And this is just a plain sauerkraut because I know you can get one for like carrots or like juniper berries and stuff like that in it. But yeah, I like sauerkraut plain, nice and plain. And last but not least, is it another one? Please don't be another one. I'm excited. Oh no, it is. Okay. Fair dues. Okay, and I just got a second. My nose is running now. Cheers. This is what's happening to me? I'm leaking. Am I leaking? Right. Two sauerkrauts. Delicious. Good for my guts. Glowing skin and high energy me. Here I come. Right, okay, so next thing to do today, I was meant to go get my eyebrows done, but unfortunately I'm just gonna have to tint them myself because you have to go get a patch test. Even if you've had one at this place before, it's called Arch in Shoreditch, like Box Park area, a little pop up there. But even if you've had a patch test before, if you haven't had one like last six months, you need to get another one, which I didn't realize. I should have read fine print, terms and conditions, you know me. But yeah, so can't go get them done. But anyways, um, I'm gonna get my nails done to go back to workies because I haven't had them done in a very long time and just thought it'd be nice, you know, treat yourself. Um, and gonna try on all my work clothes, gonna pack me work bag. <laughs> She's a working girl. Um, and is there anything else? I wanna just have a big pamper evening as well. Right, next thing's next. I'm just sorry, I'm fully wielding these scissors today. Next thing's next, I'm going to build this clothes rail because I need to get my shit together. I've got suitcase lying packed still and some work clothes I wanna hang up and stuff like that. So I'm gonna build this clothes rail because you know what, Bob the Builder is not here, but Danica is. There we, oh, sorry, I need to stop wielding these. Right, let's get going. Now, we've run into a slight issue already in that Bob the Builder would have a mallet, a tape measure, eye protection and a power drill and a screwdriver. Uh, and I'm not going to be purchasing any of those ever. Oh. <laughs> okay, right, let's try. We've got scissors and we've got our hands. We're going to use what God gave <laughs> Midnight fries. I need some midnight fries. I need some M I D N I D. Right. Next step. Midnight fries. Yeah. Potatoes, throwing paces when I'm on the block. Miss me with tomatoes, you can save those for your salad chart. Can't right, wait. okay, not gonna lie, I, I've done it, I've smashed it. So, here we have the clothes rail built by moi. Yes! A little bit wobbly for some reason, but stable. She's not going anywhere. The base, I'm very happy with the base, it's very, very solid. Next step, lunch and meal prepping and get me nails done. <laughs> four, we're looking shabby boys. <laughs> okay, finally back from going to get my manicure. My little crusty nails are no more. I got a little French manicure. I actually really recommend the place. It was called Dream Nails. Loved the girl that did my nails. Had a nice little chit chat. But yeah, it was a whole process getting it done. And then I came back here, bought some food so I can meal prep for tomorrow, get my food ready. But yeah, loving the nails. I think I would have preferred if, you see the bit under like the white tip was a little bit more like pinky orange. But on the whole, really like it. And the last time I got acrylics, these are acrylics, I usually get gel extensions. Last time I got acrylics, whoever did it, it was like at some random place in France, cut like all the sides of my nails. So that didn't happen today, so very happy. She's not asking for much, but yeah. So the plan tonight is just to meal prep some food for tomorrow, figure out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow, have a little bathy relax with a lush bath bomb. And yeah, I'm very happy that I got my nails done because you know, it wait, pause. You know when you've got your nails done, they're all fresh and you get to do. 
a little bit of ASMR. <laughs> How good is that sound? Or like, you know, you pay for something and you're, you got fresh nails. <laughs> right, get in the bin, I need some food. Okay, so basically, I actually feel like I'm presenting a game show well. No, okay, so I decided to do a little try and haul. Like I said, I'm going back to the office and I needed outfits. So here we are, said outfits. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a little try on situation because one, I haven't tried them on yet. Two, I don't know what I'm gonna wear to the office tomorrow and I need to, you know, figure that out. And three, I thought it'd just be a bit nice, so a little try on haul. So, without further ado, let's get into the trying on. So, I feel like this could be kind of cute. So, a little black tee and then these trousers, which are just like kind of flared suit trousers, a little bit beigey. And then, put on these shoes. These are from June, so like they're just comfy work shoes. So this is literally just like a little black Zara t-shirt. These trousers are from Bershka. Long short bag. And then these shoes are from June. Like can you imagine seeing me walking into an office and being like, oh yeah, she looks like she belongs here. Or do I look like a child? playing dress up, I really can't tell. Okay, next outfit. Okay, this is definitely more of a me outfit. I like this a lot. So we've got just the black knit thing from Zara. These black slacks, which are also from Zara, they have a slight like little kick flare at the bottom. And then to spice it up a little bit, I've just got these burgundy, I guess it's like fake alligator, um, like print. Yeah, these are just from Topshop. <laughs> Pride to the clothes down. And then with fun hoops, and this could be like a Friday work outfit. A little bit more fun, going for drinks afterwards. This is the jumper when I took it out of the packaging I wasn't sure about because, like I said, it's got this little like metal detailing here and I am really not a fan of that kind of thing. But you know what? If we tuck it in, I feel like we've got a look here as well. So yeah, this little jumper from Zara. Very comfortable also, by the way. Same bag, same black slacks. And then I paired it just with like the little June shoes again. Now we have this little blue shirt, shit, from French Connection. And they actually have this in so many different colors, pink, brown. And I've just paired it again with the black slacks. It comes down a little bit longer on the back. And then again, just like the little black shoe. I feel like this fit is like, I've got a meeting today and I'm down to be serious. Okay, next. I'm actually vibe in this outfit but I do think it's more of like a casual work outfit so got this little Zara tee super comfortable and then I'm wearing these trousers from Juff Avenue I feel like they're the on-the-go charcoal set or something like that they are a really really nice silky material so when you're sat at your desk for ages you can just totally relax get comfortable however I feel like these would wrinkle really really easily but cute comfortable and then I thought because it is a little bit more fun and casual that I could pair it with a pair of Converse. So I've just got these pink platform ones on. I don't know if you can see that properly. Last but not least, a cute little um, baby tee from Realization Park. I really, really like the material. I don't think it's too see-through or anything like that. So cute white tee if you want to just have, you know, a little bit more of a fun, flirty day at work. And then I've just got these um, Jeff Avenue trousers on still. We are done. So the plan is now to do a little bit of meal prep, have a little lush bubble bath, pamper myself, go to bed early and wake up refreshed for the week to start. Need to open your eyes up.